Welcome back to our session children. Children, till now we have covered so many important theorems and similarity criteria of chapter triangle. Now we will left with only one important theorem that is Pythagoras theorem of chapter triangle. So, in today's session we will cover this important theorem that is Pythagoras theorem. Along with this Pythagoras theorem, we will also prove converse of this Pythagoras theorem. And let me tell you one thing in advance, children we have already proved all the similarity criteria, but that is just for your understanding. You only have to see the statements and we will only apply the similarity criteria. The proofs are not there in your syllabus. But before we will start Pythagoras theorem, children there is one more important theorem, theorem 6.7 in your book that is very important. See the proof of the theorem is not there, it is not a part of your solution, but it is very important to understand this theorem as we are going to use this theorem in the proof of Pythagoras theorem. So, what this theorem 6.7 says that if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of a right angle of a triangle to the hypotenuse, then triangles on the both side of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and they are similar to each other. Which means, if we have a right angle triangle ABC and if we draw a perpendicular from the vertex where is 90 degree angle is formed, from that vertex if we draw a perpendicular to the hypotenuse that is the longest side, then this perpendicular you can see the two triangles are formed, then according to the theorem both the triangles are similar to the whole triangle that is ABC the big one and they are also similar to each other. Again I am reminding you this is one of the very important theorem in the proof of Pythagoras theorem. So, let us start with the proof of Pythagoras theorem. So, children Pythagoras theorem we are very much familiar with this theorem because we are using Pythagoras properties since class 7, but the proof is here. Theorem says that in a right angle triangle, remember this is very important because this is only applicable when the triangle is a right angle triangle. So, in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse that is the longest side is equals to the sum of the square of other two sides that is the base and the perpendicular. So, this triangle is given to you triangle ABC and this is a right angle triangle, right angle at point B. What we have to show that the square of the hypotenuse that is AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square. So, as you know we will always start with the given things write down ABC is a right angle triangle right angled at B. What we have to prove we have to show AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square. Now children we are doing one construction here from vertex B we are making perpendicular to the hypotenuse that is AC. So, draw BD perpendicular to AC. Now, since we are going to start with the proof, it is given to you that BD is perpendicular to AC and just in the previous session we have discussed when a perpendicular is drawn from a vertex to the longest side, then that perpendicular that divides a whole triangle into two triangles and both the triangles are similar to each other and they are similar to the whole triangle. So, use this concept here, um, I have written the theorem here. Now, see according to this theorem 6.7, this triangle ABD will be similar to the whole triangle ABC. So, we have written triangle ABD is similar to ABC, but remember the naming of the triangle is very important. Now, since the triangles are similar, we know we can use or we can show that their sides are in proportion. So, write down carefully AD upon AB will be is equals to AB upon AC. So, that selection of sides are very important. Also, this triangle BDC, this is also similar to the big triangle ABC. So, triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. So, again when they are similar, you can write that their sides are in proportion. So, write down BD upon AB or you can write any combination. So, here the combination which we are using is CD upon BC is equal to this BC upon AB. 
C, right? So again, I'm reminding you that the selection of site is very, very important here. Now, children, see the first step. When you're doing cross multiplication, you will have AD into AC here and AB into AB become AB square. Similarly, in this step, when you do cross multiplication, you will have CD into AC is equals to BC square. So, this is your equation number 1, this is your equation number 2. Now, in the next step, add equation 1 and equation number 2. So, add them very carefully. When you are adding left side, you have AD dot AC dot means multiplication plus CD dot AC is equals to AB square plus BC square. Now, you can see here in this step, what is common? You can see both the terms are having AC as a common term. So, you can take out AC out of the bracket. So, AC, when you have taken out AC, you left with AD plus CD is equal to that right side will remain as it is. Now, see the diagram. We have in a bracket AD plus CD. What is AD plus CD gives you? It will give you whole AC. So, replace this bracket by AC only. So, you have AC into AC is equals to AB square plus BC square. Now, AC into AC gives you AC square. So, we got AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square. Now, see the triangle again, AC is your hypotenuse. So, what we are showing that the square of the hypotenuse is equals to sum of the square of other two sides. So, children with this we have proved Pythagoras theorem which, which says that the square of the hypotenuse is equals to sum of the square of other two sides. After this we will be going to discuss about the converse of Pythagoras theorem. Now, in Pythagoras theorem the thing which is given to us that the right angle triangle is there and what we are showing that the square of hypotenuse is equals to square of the square of other two sides. Now, converse will be vice versa of each other. Vice versa means in converse now it is given to you that the square of one of the side of a triangle will be is equals to the square sum of the square of other two sides and what we have to prove that the triangle is a right angle triangle. So, let us start with the converse of Pythagoras theorem. So, as I told you converse means in a triangle. Remember in case of Pythagoras the term they are using in a right angle triangle and they are here yeah, they are only using a term in a triangle. In a triangle if square of one side is equals to sum of the square of other two sides you have to show that the triangle is a right angle triangle. That is what we have to prove in converse. So, now we are do, going to do this in few steps. Step number 1, children you are given with the triangle ABC that is it and the another thing which is given to you that the longest side here we are assuming as AC. So, it is given to you that AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square and what we have to prove? We have to show ABC is a right angle triangle means any of the angle of this triangle is a 90 degree angle, right? So, we have to prove let us say we have to show angle B is of 90 degree and now we are going to do one construction. We are making one triangle here say triangle PQR, but we will make triangle in such a way that this is a right angle triangle, right? We are making one right angle triangle, right angle at Q and other thing here this PQ side is equals to AB and this BC is equals to QR. This is your construction. Right. I am repeating again, we are making a triangle PQR which is right angled at Q such that the side PQ is equals to AB and BC is equals to QR. So, let us start with the proof now. Children, this triangle PQR because of construction, it is a right angle triangle and since it is a right angle triangle, it means Pythagoras property is applicable here. So, what you can write in triangle PQR? In triangle PQR, we can write that PR square will be is equals to PQ square plus QR square that is because of Pythagoras property. PR square is equals to PQ square plus QR square. But because of construction, it is given to you that this PQ is equals to AB and QR equals to BC. So, now replace these two things in the given equation. You will get PR square 
PQ we are going to replace by AB and QR ko BC square. So, this will be your equation number 1 square of PR is equals to square of AB plus square of BC. Now, come to the thing which is given to you. You are given with AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square. Now, carefully observe both the equation. If you see the right side of both the equations are equal and when the right sides are equal, you can also equate their left side. So, what you will have? PR square is equals to AC square and the square and square get cancelled from both the sides. So, we left with PR is equals to AC, right? Now, come to the last step. Children, what we have just shown that PR and AC are equal. Now, see the diagrams again. In this diagram, because of construction, PQ side is equals to AB. Because of construction, BC is also equals to QR. And just now in our previous step, we have proved that AC is also equals to PR. So, it means when the three sides of first triangle, R is equals to three sides of the second triangle, means the triangle become congruent under criteria SSS congruence criteria. And we know when the triangle become congruent, all the corresponding parts are equal. So, we are showing that the triangles become congruent and since their corresponding parts are equal, so we can equate angle B and angle Q. So, we are writing that angle B is equals to angle Q. But now, what is the value of angle Q? Angle Q is 90 degree, right? That is because of the construction. So, we can write angle B is also of 90 degree and hence we have shown that if in a triangle, if the square of one of the side is equals to sum of the square of other two sides, then the triangle is a right angle triangle. After this children, we are going to practice few examples which are based on Pythagoras theorem as well as on the base which are based on converse of Pythagoras theorem. So, let us start with the examples now. Example number 1 says a ladder is placed against a wall such that its foot is at a distance of 2.5 meter from the wall and its top reaches the window 6 meter above the ground. Find the length of the ladder. So, children here we have to draw the diagram. Let us assume that this AB is a ladder and it is placed against a wall and there is a window which is 6 meter above the ground and the distance between the foot of the lever, ladder and the wall is 2.5 meter, you need to calculate the length of the ladder that is AB that you have to find out. So, write down, you know the things which are given to you, just write down the things which are given and clearly children, if you see this angle, here you will get a 90 degree angle. It means if this, this forms a right angle triangle and when it becomes a right angle triangle, Pythagoras property is applicable here. So, you can apply Pythagoras property here and accordingly what you can write that the square of AB, AB square is equals to AC square plus BC square. So, just put the values BC is given to 2.5 square and AC is 6. Now, 2.5 square is how much? It is around 6.25. 6.25 and to this you are adding square of 6 that is 36. So, when you add them you will have 42.25. This is equals to AB square, right? So, now when you remove this square, you will have root on this number 42.25 children find the root of this number. It is your choice. If you want, you can do long division or you can do prime factorization to find the root and here you will see that AB is equals to 6.5 meter. It means the length of the ladder is equals to 6.5 meter. Let us start example number 2 now. Your example 2 is based on the proof. Here it is given to you that this AD is perpendicular to the side BC of a triangle ABC and when we are using term perpendicular means by default 90 degree angle is formed. What we have to prove? AB square plus CD square this side square plus this side square is equals to BD square plus AC square. This is what we have to prove. 
okay children so you can see when ad is perpendicular to bc means it becomes a right angle triangle so let's take both the right angle triangle one by one first we are taking triangle adc which is right angled at d and by Pyth using pythagoras property see if 90 degree angle is formed here then which one is the longest side it is ac square so write down using pythagoras property ac square will be is equals to ad square plus dc square that will give you your equation number one similarly if this angle is 90 degree obviously this side also will be 90 degree angle so now use pythagoras property in triangle a d b this is your longest side that is a b square is equals to b d square plus a d square that is your equation number two right now what we have to do in the next step we are going to subtract equation number one from equation number two right so we will have a b square minus a d square is equals to carefully subtract right side as well you have b, uh, d b square plus a d square and when you are subtracting this sign remember you have to change the sign of the whole bracket so when you write this and in the next step when you open the bracket the sign of a d square and d c square get changed so you will have a b square minus a c square is equals to d b square plus a d square now this become negative a d square and this is also negative d c square children positive and the negative term get cancelled and we left with a b square minus a c square is equals to b d square plus minus d c square so now do the transposition bring this d c square from right to left and when you are shifting them the sign become positive so here we have a b square plus c d square and now shift this a c from left to right again it become positive so here we have b d square plus a c square hence proved now let us see the third example so children the example says a gay wire is attached to a vertical pole of height 18 meter and the length of the wire is 24 meter in this you have to calculate the distance of the foot of the wire and the foot of the pole that is AC clearly you can see here at point C 90 degree angle is formed it means ABC is a right angle triangle and when ABC is a right angle triangle Pythagoras property is applicable here now angle C is 90 degree it means which one is the hypotenuse it is AB square so what we can write we can write AB square is equals to AC square plus BC square now substitute the values AB square is square of 24 is equals to AC square as it is as the value of AC is we have to calculate and square of 18 so now do the transposition we can write AC square is equals to 24 square minus 18 square now square of 24 gives you 576 minus this is 324 now after doing subtraction you will have 252 now children this is ac square is equal to 252 so now when you remove the square from the one side you will have root on this number so children i know the answer but i am leaving this here only you have to do prime factorization and you have to give answer yourself and calculate the length or, or the distance between the foot of the wire and the foot of the pole now next question is two poles of the height 6 meter and 11 centimeter stand on a plain ground and if the distance between the feet of the poles is 12 meter find the distance between their tops so you can see the diagram there are two poles so this is ab and the length of the bigger pole is 11 meter and there is another pole cd and the length of that second pole is 6 meter now it is given to you that the distance between the foot of the pole is feet of the pole is 12 meter we have to find out the distance between their top that is a is the top of the first pole and c is the top of the second pole so you need to find out distance between them that is length ac so children how we are going to calculate this we will see the diagram only see these two lines are parallel so if this is 12 this will also be 12 meter only that is ec will also be equals to 12 and if this whole length is 11 meter and from here to here it is 6 meter so what can you say about ae this whole is 11 and from here to here it is only 6 
what can you say about AE? It is 11 minus 6, 11 minus 6 gives you 5 meter, alright. So, we will write down AB is equals to 11 meter and AE will be is equals to 11 minus 6 that is equals to 5 meter. Now, if you see this triangle again carefully, you can see a 90 degree angle is formed here means Pythagoras property is applicable. So, AC square will be is equals to AE square plus EC square. Write down this AC square is equals to AE square plus EC square. Substitute the value it is square of 5 plus it is square of 12. So, 5 square gives you 25, 12 square gives you 144 and their sum is going to give you 169. So, AC is equals to square root of 169 that is equals to 13 meter. It means the distance between their feet is equals to 13 meter. Now, let us start the next example. Children, this is one of the question of your exercise only, one of the very important question. You will get this question for either for 3 number or for 4 number. Now, the question says that there is an equilateral triangle ABC. Equilateral triangle is there means all the sides of the triangles are equal and there is a point D on side BC such that this BD is equal to one third of the side of side BC. This relation is given that this BD is one third of B, C, we need to prove 9 A D square, this 9 A D square is equals to 7 A B square, right. So, let us start with the proof, write on the given things, it is an equilateral triangle with all the three sides are equal, A B will be equals to B C is equals to A C, all the three sides are equal. Another thing given to you that is B D is 1 by 3 of B C. Now, we have to prove 9 A D square equals to 7 A B square that we have written here. Now, after this we are going to do one construction. In construction, we are making let AL is perpendicular to BC, that is your construction and when it is a perpendicular, no doubt a 90 degree angle is formed at point L. Now see, if children this AL is perpendicular to BC, what can you say about length BL? It is a right angle triangle, means it becomes a perpendicular bisector as well. So, what can you say about BL and LC? No doubt it will bisect this BC into two equal parts. So, BL will be half of BC, BL is equals to LC is equals to half of BC and second thing this is given to you that BD is one third of BC. So, if BD is one third of BC, what can you say about DC? This whole length is BC. If this is one third, what about this side? This will be two third of BC. So, this is equation number one, this is equation number two. Now, remember this question in a steps only. You can see first I am going to apply Pythagoras property in triangle ALD, this small one right and after this I am going to apply Pythagoras property in triangle A L B one by one. So, when I am applying Pythagoras property in the small triangle A L D what we can write A D square is equals to A L square plus D L square that is your equation number 3 and now apply Pythagoras property in this big triangle. So, what you can write A B square is equals to A L square plus B L square. So, that is your equation number 4. Now, after this subtract equation third from equation number 4 and subtract very carefully because we have to subtract left with left, right with right. So, here we will have A B square minus A D square and this side. See, when you are subtracting this two equation children, A L square plus B L square minus A L square minus L. So, A L and A L get cancelled on doing subtraction and we left with B L square minus D L square. If you see this step carefully, this is in the form of identity number third and identity third says A square minus B square is equals to A plus B, A minus B. So, open this by using identity number third, we can rewrite this equation as B L plus D L that is A plus B, B L minus D L that is A minus D. 
now children after this just substitute the values of the things which you have already found in your equation 1 and 2 but um, bl is equals to 1 by 2 bc that we will put here now dl see the diagram dl we will replace this dl by bl minus bd you can check this from the diagram I am repeating again this dl will can also be written as this whole bl and from this we will subtract bd and now the last second bracket is bl minus dl bl minus dl gives you what it gives you bd so we will replace this by bd now now put the values this is half bc bl is also half bc bd we have already calculated that is 1 by 3 of bc bd again 1 by 3 of bc now here in this equation children you have to take the lcm 2 2 and 3 the lcm will be 6 solve this bracket you will have 4 by 6 bc and in the simplest form 4 by 6 gives you 2 by 3 bc along with you have another thing bc upon 3 so now you have bc into bc gives you bc square 2 will remain as it is and 3 into 3 gives you 9 here we have ab square minus ad square and this is equals to 2 by 9 bc square we are getting so in the next step children we will shift this 9 from the right to the left and we will have 9 ab square minus 9 ad square is equals to 2 bc square now again we are doing transposition children so we have 9 ab square minus see this bc is also is equals to ab as all the sides of a triangle are equal this is an equilateral triangle so this bc we will replace by ab shift this bc from this side to this side you have 9 ab minus 2 ab square and when you are shifting this 9 ab square this negative become positive so 9 ab square minus 2 ab square gives you 7 ab square and that is equals to 9 ad square so children we have covered all the examples of pythagoras theorem so children in this way successfully we have completed our chapter 6 that is triangle and we have covered so many important things about chapter triangle we have started with basic proportionality theorem its converse then the criteria of similarity then after that we have discussed area theorem we have also discussed about pythagoras theorem and converse of pythagoras theorem one of the very important chapter of your book and the weightage of this chapter is also very very high so children keep doing practice keep solving some questions and stay connected thank you so much